morning everyone! Look who it is! Hello! So, if you don't know actually, this is my husband John. Hello. And he's the pastor at our church. So he's come just to join in. We are doing this in the dark, which is why we have a weird light going on. We also have some fairy lights if you want to see them. So they're pretty cool. We're camping out. Yeah. So I am reading, excuse me, and our, our verse today is from James 5 verse 16, which is in the New Testament. And it says, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other. So, burp, belch, or for the scientific types, er eructation. Eructation. I've never heard of that before. So, that's the scientific name for a burp. Eructation. Excuse me, <laughs> I just eructated. <laughs> anyway, it happens to us all about six to twenty times a day. Really? Are you kidding? No. Wow. But what makes us burp? Well, it's air. You see, when you eat or drink, chew chewing gum, or even talk too fast, that would be me, you swallow air. All that air builds up in your tummy until your body pushes it out with a rumbling <laughs> Eating too fast or drinking fizzy drinks, which are full of tiny gas bubbles, makes you burp even more. Humans aren't the only ones who burp. I can tell you, my dog does hilarious burps. Mm, he does. Animals do too. In fact, cows burp so much that if you could somehow collect <laughs> a year's worth of burps from just 10 cows, you'd have enough gas to heat a house for a year. What? We need to get 10 That's cows. A crazy world. Most people think it's rude to burp. Kind of is. Um, so if one slips out, you should say, excuse me. It's a way of apologising for what you did. But burping isn't the only time you should apologise. Any time you realise you've hurt or offended someone, accidentally or on purpose, it's a good idea to say that you're sorry and um, ask that person to forgive you and try not to make the same mistake again. That's always a good thing to remember. And if you do something that hurts or offends God, that's called a sin, um, you should do the same thing. Tell God you know what you did was wrong and say sorry and thank him for his forgiveness. He always forgives us and that's in 1 John 1 verse 9. You see, because Jesus died on the cross, he did that so that we can always be forgiven for the things we do. And that doesn't mean that we do bad things because we know we're forgiven. What it means is that we know we're loved that much, that Jesus already did that for us. So our prayer today, Lord, when I do things that hurt others, help, help my heart to be ready to say I'm sorry. And when I do things that hurt you, help my heart to be ready to apologize to you too. Teach me to honor you with my actions. In Jesus' name, amen. And John's going to read our How Great Fascinating Fact. Okay, well, are you ready for this? The record for the longest burp is, wait for it, one minute, 13 seconds, and 57 milliseconds. That's disgusting. And it wasn't me. <laughs> it was achieved by Michelle, oh, it was a girl, by Michelle Forgioni of Italy, in 2009. No way. But the record for the loudest burp belongs to Paul Hun, a guy, what a surprise, of the United Kingdom. His burp was 109.9 decibels. That's louder than a motorbike. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd hate to live with him. Anyway, have a great day today. Do something fun. Do something that makes you laugh. And <coughs> tomorrow we are going to look at worms. So that would be great fun. Wow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.